Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I haven't done a tag in a long time. So I'm going to do the food tag, which I saw on Angie Lubislav's channel and Dave Nicholson's channel. And I will put both of their links down below. As always, if you guys want to do this challenge, please do make a video. I'm going to tag Marianne McMillan. I'm going to tag... I hate having to pick names out of my head. Uh, Marianne McMillan, Secret... And one more, one more, one more, one more. How about uh, Jaden Sky? I'm going to pick those three, but everybody else, please do it. Because um, I cannot think of names off the top of my head. Anyway, I'm done rambling. Here we go. It's called Food Tag. And number one is my favorite breakfast. My favorite breakfast depends on the kind of day I'm having. Because if it's a day where, like... We had to go to doctor's appointment, like I had a doctor's appointment in the morning or something and didn't get a chance to get up and have breakfast. Or I had to have a bunch of blood work done. Um, I enjoy the McDonald's breakfast with the Egg McMuffins with real bacon. I'm not going to lie. It's a comfort thing for me. Um, and then if I get the extra side of pancakes, I didn't get this body looking good like this on carrots. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyway, I love that. My daughter does too. Um, but honestly, lately, um, we've been making a point to have Sunday breakfast where, uh, we just kind of sit at the kitchen table and we have our breakfast. I love eggs in a nest. Um, what, what else they call toad in the hole, you know, where you make the egg in a nest. I love that. And I love my vegan butter and all that stuff with it. Um, so I would have to say that and bacon and a nice cup of coffee and, um, a gluten-free caramel cookie that I'm just so in love with. Um, but yeah, that, those two, well, records are playing. That's my, yeah, those are my favorite. Um, uh, I'm very atmospheric is that, that's a word. Like it depends on my mood and where I'm at because breakfast, believe it or not, is my favorite, favorite meal of the day. I love breakfast. I don't know why. Anyway, how do you drink your coffee? Uh, well, I love my coffee with tons of creamer and sugar. However, that's not how I drink it. Uh, uh, I love my coffee with coconut creamer. I love coconut creamer. It is my fantastic favorite thing because um, we've changed a lot of how we're eating and that kind of stuff. And that is something I will stick with for the rest of my life um, because I do love me some vanilla creamer. You know what I'm saying? But I do enjoy the coconut uh, creamer. And I also think they have a French vanilla coconut creamer, which I don't drink that. I just drink whatever. But that's good. Um, favorite sandwich. Well, I love sandwiches. I love sandwiches. Not a lot to eat a lot of lunch meat, although the Italian hoagie with mayonnaise and uh, sweet peppers and, um, oh, that's, that just gets me. Uh, soft shell crab sandwiches, I love. Um, those are so good. Seafood salad, chicken salad, I don't know. Uh, those I love. I love fish sandwiches. There's not a sandwich I don't like. I love Rubens. I love, um, oh, I'm a sandwich eater. I'm not going to lie. Um, I do love them. I don't eat them a lot, but when I do, I do love it. Uh, soup or salad? Soup. Do you use a cookbook when cooking? No, not normally. Once in a while. I mean, once in a while I find a recipe, like I'll go through my uh, book or I'm like, oh, you know, I have, like if I have chicken in the freezer and maybe I have potatoes and da, 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 I might look and see. Um, but I am a big Food Network freak and, um, and Cooking Channel freak and PBS Cooking ch freak and just a freak in general. Um, so I'm always, uh, I just love cooking. And I'm preparing myself to go, I want to join uh, the um, a contest. I either want to go on Chopped, I want to go on uh, Food Network Star, although I don't know if I could do that, but we'll see. Um, or... Uh, what was the other one I want to do? Uh, I can't think. Anyway, um, and I want to go on the chew. So that is a goal of mine. That's why I would love to start cooking on my channel um, to show you guys some, you know, things that we do around here that are uh, really good for you and then just some not so good things to eat. So, um, okay, enough of that. Um, if you could have no more sweats. Oh, sweets. I, I swear that says sweat. S-W-E-A-T. Yeah, that's sweats. Um, if you could have no more sweets or no more savory. <laughs> That's hard because I love it all. And there's always a mood for one. Um, I would probably stick with having sweets. Probably. Oh, I'd love savory though. I don't know. What's your favorite type of food? 
edible. <laughs> That's my type of food. Honestly, we were thinking about it the other day. We were watching something and it was like one of those um, contests on the Food Network or something like that. And um, they had to, the people had to, it must have been the kids one because they had to make something that their parents absolutely hated. And they know that they're, you know, so they had to cook for their parents that. So the parents had to come taste it. And we were saying that and I was like, what would you make me? Because I love everything. I am not discriminatory, big word, uh, on any type of food. I really love every, everything, except if I had to pick something, it would be a mushy mush fruit. I don't like that cooked down fruit. Dave loves that stuff. I don't like it. I don't like all that mushy in my mouth. I mean, so it depends on what it's mixed with. Okay. Um, favorite type of food? I think I just did. Favorite cooking show? I can't even answer that one. I'm going to tell you. I love Lydia. Uh, I love my Italian shows. I love Lydia, uh, and I love, and she's on PBS as well as, uh, Marianne es 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 Esposito, uh, Italian all the way. Um, but I love, uh, honestly, I don't, there's only maybe two, uh, cooks like on the channel on Food Network and that, that I don't dig. Um, but I watch anything. Um. Ultimate guilty pleasure. See, to me, that would be something seafood, like sushi or something like that, because I don't eat it that much, um, and the prices are outrageous for it. So I will get it, like, once in a while, I'll get, like, me a half a pound of shrimp when I want something like that or um, muscle, you know, something like that. So it has to be seafood, some sort of seafood, sushi, something like that. Uh, cooking inspiration. I got married, did not know how to cook. I couldn't even make grilled cheese. To this day, believe it or not, I cook. I cook a lot. And I don't make a good grilled cheese. My husband, he makes our grilled cheese, and he makes them awesome. Um, but um, I don't know. I just I, I had to cook out of uh, need to have to cook, and I just taught myself and learned and still learn to this day and love it. Mm, High-end or low-profile food? High High-end food, I, I will admit, I do like me some high-end food. <laughs> um, la, 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 favorite restaurant? Mm, I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, I used to love Red Lobster forever and ever and ever, but I hadn't been there in a lot of years since I was little. Because when I was little, we would go. And, uh, like my family would, would go and I loved it. it was one of my favorite. Cause it's really the only time my parents don't eat seafood and my sisters don't eat seafood. So it was really the only time where I could really get my seafood groove on. Um, but I, that was when I was young. I don't know. Um, where do you get your groceries? I get my groceries at ShopRite <laughs> at the grocery store. Uh, best thing you have ever eaten. Mm. It has to be real Italian food. And I did not go to Italy or anything like that, but it was like a restaurant here. I ate there once. And it, I'm talking like everything, because I grew up Italian and my uh, dad's parents, my dad's mother cooked Italian all the time. Uh, so I grew up with that kind of thing. And then what Italian food is here, like if you go to certain Italian restaurants here, it's all like dry pasta. It's nothing fantastic but we went to a restaurant years ago and it was um how do you say it, it, it you know it was like all fresh like italian food fresh pasta fresh everything homemade and it was so good so that would have to be uh the best thing i ever ate favorite snack well <sighs> favorite snack <laughs> comfort potato chips and dip in a chocolate milkshake. And it's all of our here's favorite comfort snack. We don't have it often ever at all, but I know when we're all miserable and we all have a bad day or we all have, cause we are comfort eaters, um, emotional eaters, I guess. Uh, that is what we all say we want. Like that's, we'll have that once in a very blue moon, but yeah. Um, favorite type of pizza. Any, I love everything pizza. Everything pizza, everything pizza. 
I like a plain, I like a cheese pizza, but I love mushrooms on my pizza. I love pepperoni on my pizza. I, I love it all. Like when Dave, like if we get a pizza and like he gets half with everything, I want a couple bites of that. Like, so I, there's no bad pizza for me. Um, favorite food, food vlog? No idea. I don't look at food vlogs. Um, craziest thing you've ever eaten? Dear heart. <laughs> my dad uh, used to hunt and he would bring, um, deer and all that home and then um one time in school we had to eat a deer heart and um yeah that was the i mean you know food bucket list i want to travel the world and i want to um like i want to travel america like united states everywhere italy uh all over the place everywhere everywhere and i want to taste food from just everywhere because watching some of these TV shows when they go like to place to place to place and like you, they find these like, I, I guess like diners, drive-ins and dives, if you guys are familiar with that or places like that where, you know, they show like these fantastic places. That's what I want to do. Uh, something I can't live without. I guess that has to do with food. Um, I don't know. I love it all. Something I can't live without. I would have to say coffee, I guess, because I don't function well if I don't have coffee. I don't have a lot of coffee during the day, but I do enjoy coffee. Um, hottest chili you've ever eaten? Uh, back in the day before ulcers, <laughs> uh, I love hot sauce. I still will eat hot sauce now. I do love it, like sriracha and all that, but I have to watch. But the hottest chili probably would be, probably try to have an era before, um, to see how hot that was. But like I said, I don't really cook that much with hot, you know, I like do jalapenos or I love to make stuffed jalapenos and that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so I gotta watch my stomach, but if you watch this, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm going to put all the questions down below. If you, uh, want to do this and you make videos, please do tag me. Let me know that you did it. Um, or put it down in the comments of this video, your link, so I can check it out. Cause I love seeing what everybody answers. And, um, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys do it. I'm going to try to catch up on some tags. I've been watching a bunch of tags the past week and I haven't done any. So I thought this would be a good one to start. I love you guys. And as always, be kind to each other. You never know battles somebody else is fighting. You guys all rock. Let me know down below, even if you don't do a video, but let me know down below your answers to the questions too, because I love reading that too. And um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.